Hi honeybees! Today I'm going to be doing a mega haul again. I know, lots of haulage lately, but I know you guys like seeing it, so I continued to film it. But I went to Ulta, I also went to, this bag's heavy, Bath & Body Works, and I also ordered a few things from the Kate Spade 60% um, off sale that they had recently online. So I'm going to first start off with the makeup, because I know that's what most of you are here for. So. sent me a coupon for 20% off their drugstore brands, and then 10% off Prestige. So I didn't go buck wild, but I did get a few things that I have been eyeing and lusting after. So I'm going to first start off talking about the items I got 20% off on. And first are these Katie Cat Matte Lipsticks from CoverGirl. They are in collaboration with Katy Perry. I have three other shades and I absolutely love this formulation. There is a slight scent to it that I don't really appreciate. It's that CoverGirl lipstick smell. Um, but it's very, it's a little bit more faint than their other lipsticks. And I just love the wear time of these and the color payoff and how they feel and look on my lips. So I decided to get two more shades. The first color I got is Pink Paws, and then the other one I got is Couture, Couture, get it, like a kitty cat? Okay, well, let me show you how cute this packaging is one more time, just in case someone hasn't seen. The little kitty ears, so cute. And I will go ahead and swatch these real quick for you. The um, Pink Paws is just a really beautiful, true, almost blue-toned pink. Yeah, I would say that's a blue-toned pink. So pretty. I have already worn this and really liked it. And then Couture is like a little bit darker of a nude. I think this will be so perfect for fall. But it's like a mauve deep nude. It's really pretty. I decided to pick up the Physicians Formula. This is their Eye Booster Brush Tip Eyeliner in... It's the darkest one, Ultra Black. This is like one of my holy grail liquid liners. I haven't used it in a while and I thought since I was getting 20% off I might as well grab one. Then I picked up a shimmer brick from Revolution in the shade Radiant. This is stunning. I'm sorry that I didn't put it on my cheeks today but I have tried it on. I've used this darker golden shade on the top here as a shadow and it was stunning. Um, I usually just use the lighter shades, I'll show you, and I swatch them all together on my cheeks and it's a beautiful radiance. Hope you can see that right here. Yeah, you can definitely see that. See, it has like more of like a golden champagne tone to it. I think it would be beautiful, especially on darker skin tones. I am pretty fair, but I make it work. And then I will swatch the golden shade for you too to show you. That is what I've been wearing on my lids sometimes with a gold eyeshadow base, like a cream base, and it's so beautiful. So I am really liking this, and I think for the price point, I got this for $5 with my 20% off. That's a really big steal. Okay, then I decided to pick up two Tony Moly products. Ulta now carries Tony Moly and quite a bit of their line, which is pretty cool. The first is this little Pocket Bunny Sleek Mist. Isn't she so cute? Oh my goodness, I love her. Um, Alex from HRH Collection, if you're watching, girl, you need this if you don't already have it because it's a bunny and it's so cute for your purse. And so I have to admit I was drawn to it because of the adorable packaging. But this is kind of like a nice refreshing mist that you can spray all over your face during the day. Um, and it's, I think it had like some kind of fruity notes to it, but it doesn't smell that way. It smells more grandma perfume, which I don't really like that. I'll spray this on right now. Yeah, it's very powdery scented, which I'm not too much of a fan of, but I do really like the packaging. Something that's like a very novelty little item, but I thought it was so cute. And then this. Oh my goodness. This is the Banana Cream Foam Cleanser from Tony Moly. I really like this so far, but mostly because of the scent. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. It smells like straight up yummy bananas. I love it, love it. But I will let you know how it does with my skin, because I've only used it once so far. Then, I don't know if you guys know this, but Soap and Glory is considered drugstore at Ulta, which I would have considered them high-end in my opinion, but um, I ended up picking up this Fomus, <laughs> Rich and Fomus body um, wash from Soap and Glory, and it says it has raw flower honey, almond milk, super soft skin conditioners. Um, this smells like almond and brown sugar. Oh my goodness. I love that it has a pump. 
and it just smells so good. Oh my goodness. So, so yummy. If you like almond scents, you will love this so much. And I never saw this when it was sold at my Sephora when I worked at Sephora, so I feel like this might be newer. Then I ended up picking up a makeup product from Soap and Glory. This is the Peach Party. Watch this. Oh, you guys are going to die. Look at how beautiful. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I usually use this as a blush topper because it is very glowy and peachy. So I couldn't use it alone, um, like as a blush, but it is stunning and has a beautiful glow to it. So I really am enjoying that. I could use it as a blush on its own, but it would be very shimmery. Um, but I really like it so far, and I love the packaging. I just love Soap and Glory's packaging. I think it's so cute. Okay, and then I just picked up three high-end items. The first is the Lorac Pro 3 palette. It does come with a primer, which is their behind-the-scenes eye primer. Not my best, not my favorite eye primer, but it's nice that it comes with it. I was really drawn to these colors. I do have it on my lids today. However, I'm kind of iffy about the quality of the shadows in this one. Um, I don't know. So I don't know if I'm going to end up keeping it. There's one shadow in here, Medallion, that is pretty when you wet your brush. I have it on my lid today. However, it kicks up a lot of product and it's very patchy if you don't wet your brush and it goes all over your face. So I'm really disappointed in that color. I do like a lot of the mattes in this palette and that's what makes me want to still keep it, but I'm not really impressed by the shimmers because there's a row of mattes and a row of shimmers. The shimmers are not that great. Um, they're okay. They're just not anything like unique and special to me. The payoff is beautiful on most of these and they blend beautifully as well, just like all other Lorac Pro palettes. Um, I just don't know if I'm impressed enough by it to keep it because I feel like my Modern Renaissance palette from Anastasia is even better. And I just watched a video with Laura from Miss Lola Lynn at her Friday Favorites. I'll link her down below if you don't watch her. She's amazing. I love her. Make sure to check her out. But she also said that she wasn't too keen on this palette either. And I felt like a little bit of like a sigh of relief that I wasn't the only one because I know a lot of people are loving this. Um, but I'm not saying 100% negative with this palette. I think a lot of the shades are very pretty. Um, I would keep it solely for the mattes on the top. That's how much I love um, those shades. And the black is like jet, jet black. It's called jet black, and it really is. Like, let me show you. Like, that is intense pigment. Look at that. I'll swatch a few of these for you. Um, I'll show you. Medallion is just, oh my gosh, it gets everywhere. See, I don't know if you can see that from this distance. It's just very not impressive. <laughs> but it's so pretty. Like, this color when, oh my gosh, it's getting all over me. I'm telling you, it's flaky, flaky. It's pretty once I wet it and put it on my lid. Um, but the other ones are nice and creamy. Like, look at that. There are some really beautiful colors. That's very pretty. I don't know. I'm, half, I'm back and forth about this. If you guys want me to do a full review and swatch video and maybe a tutorial, let me know. And I, I probably will end up keeping it just so I can do a full review and swatch it and um, maybe do a tutorial for you guys if I can come up with a, a good look that I think you will enjoy. But I'm not telling you to run out and get this at the moment. I still need to try it out and maybe I'll do a full review even though there's a million reviews out there probably. But... Yeah, maybe you want to see my take on it, so please give this video a thumbs up and let me know down below. And last two items I got from Ulta were two of the new Bare Minerals lippies. I was not lucky enough, sadly, to get the whole line of these lippies, but they spoke to me so much. Like, I've watched so many videos of people swatching them on their lips, on their hands, talking about them, and it's a whole line of new nudes from Bare Minerals. Um, it's called the Gen Nude line and I picked up one of the buttercream lip glosses and one of the matte liquid lip colors. I have both in combination on my lips right now because I just couldn't wait to put them on my lips. They feel incredible and I definitely want more of these. The first um, I want to share with you is the liquid lip color. It is in the shade Infamous. Oh my goodness. First of all the packaging is like one of those um, frosted glass kind of look to it and then like a matte black cap, and then the color shows through. Very sleek, in my opinion. 
Oh my gosh. And this smells like hot chocolate to me. I don't know if anyone's mentioned that on a video yet, but it smells literally like hot cocoa. And it's very um, moussey and glides on your lips so beautifully. And look at that color. Are you kidding me? So beautiful. Uh, I love it. So it didn't need to have the gloss on top of it, but I wanted to see how it will look together and I really like the combination. This is literally like the sister. <laughs> Almost, it's a little more pink to Infamous, but this is one of the Buttercream Lip Glosses in the shade Sugar, and this has more of a vanilla-like scent to it. It's not like the hot cocoa scent, but it is right there. See how those are kind of similar? It's a little bit more pink, but these are not sticky. They feel so good and cushiony on your lips. Um, they last pretty decently and the pigment as you can see that was one swipe is insane So I really really like these so far and I envision I see in my in my future more of those in my collection They're so pretty. Okay quickly. I want to share my little Kate Spade goodies. I got the first is this little Honeybee puff for my purse How freaking cute is that guys it even has he has a little stinger so cute and he has little bling bling eyes and I think he's gonna look so cute on my black Michael Kors purse and yeah I love him I got him for 60% off and they had like all the they had a honeybee line for summer and they had everything 60% off I could have went buck wild but I didn't why do I keep saying buck wild we're not on flavor of love Anyway, but I could have went crazy is the point here. There was like honeybee purses, honeybee queen shirt, the puff, these earrings, bracelets and necklaces, but I just chose what I really knew I would use. So I ended up, look how cute this little box is. I ended up getting the happy, be happy earrings, I think they were called. Look at how stinking cute those are. And the happy part does come off. You don't have to wear that. They're just the cutest little honeybee studs with little gems in their in their little wings. Mm, I love them so much. So that's, I wear studs all the time. So I thought I would definitely get use out of those. And then I ended up getting a new case for my iPhone 6. And it's a mirrored rose gold. Isn't that so pretty? And it says Toast of the Town. And then it just has white around the edges. But it, it does get a little messy because it is mirrored but I loved that it was rose gold. So I had to get it and this also was on sale. Speaking of puffs for your purse, um, if you watch my vlog then you know that I went to Francesca's and I got two little puffs. One's on my purse right now and I didn't bring it in here but I'll maybe do a picture on the side here for you. But I got this little hairy black one. <laughs> it's so hairy, it looks like a little monster or a little puffy puppy. But it's not real hair so don't worry. <laughs> But I just thought it was so cute. Look at it. It was $10. And this is rose gold, a little clasp here. And it just, it opens pretty easily, except I'm kind of being blonde right now. There we go. It just like pushes down. So it doesn't hurt your purse when you put it on it. It's just so cute. And then Mama B and I went to Bath and Body Works for the semi-annual sale. And I told myself I wasn't going to go. And it, I still went. So whatever. I tried and I didn't succeed. But I ended up getting two of their um, Fine Fragrance Mists. Oh my goodness to this one, the Watermelon Lemonade. I have been, let me put this bag down, it's annoying me. I have been obsessed with this. I'm gonna put it on right now, I don't have any on. Any perfume, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it smells like watermelon candy. It's very sweet. And it just smells so good, like very summertime. And I probably smell like a teenager, but I don't really care. <laughs> it smells so good. And I think I got this for like two dollars. It was the pricing was insane. It was like so cheap. And then I got this iced coconut culotta fine fragrance mist. I don't know if you can see, but inside the straw, it looks like um one of those plastic straws. Oh my gosh. This just smells like straight up coconut but like shredded coconut like almost like real coconut but with an undertone of the fakey sweet coconut I don't know it just smells really good and I kind of let I'm liking fragrance like this for the summer because it's not too heavy and it's nice for like a little refresher I don't know I'm really liking it they wrapped my candle so nice I did get one candle 
I think I got one other thing in the bag there. Okay, so I got a backup of my Paris Lavender Macaron, Macaroon, however you say it, I always say it wrong, um, candle because, first off, this smells like heaven. Yum! It just smells so good. <laughs> and I love anything Paris themed. If you guys have been with me for a really long time, you know my room used to be Paris themed. I've never been to Paris, but it is pretty much my number one goal in life is to visit Europe in general, but Paris, I really, really want to go visit. And I just love this candle. So I had to pick up a backup because I knew it was going to, it's limited edition, so I knew it was going to go away. Who knows if it'll ever come back. You never know with Bath and Body Works. I also picked up a body shower gel. I really didn't need to pick this up. I don't know why I did, to be honest. <laughs> It just smells so damn good. So it's the Wahoo Coconut Sunset one. And I do have, oh my gosh. I don't know why this smells even better than years prior. It smells different to me for some reason and that's why I picked it up. Coconut Blossom Sparkling Bergamot Beach Turborose Hawaiian Monai and Molten Amber. It smells more ambery to me than years past. So that's why I ended up picking that up. And then, to wrap these two. Not good for a haul. Oh my god, it's so beautiful! So then I ended up getting two of these beauteous foaming hand soap holders and one is wrapped up but I have two of them. Look at this guys, it's gonna match my house so well. It has pearls and bling all covering it. I hope you can really see that. And then it's silver, it has this beautiful kind of scalloped edge. And I love that it completely covers the design of the um, foaming hand soap. Oh, it's just so beautiful. This scent I ended up getting is called Beach House. And I just really honestly love the coloring because it matches my decor. It's a nice smell too, but. I got it for the color. And then I actually picked up something I ran out of are these scent portables for my car. I got one of the watermelon lemonade scents and then three of the Tiki Beach because I think this one just smells so good in my car. So yeah, I got four of them. I also want to show you two things real quickly from Octilly that I received. Octilly is a site where YouTubers or Instagrammers can go and receive free product for review purposes. So if you're a YouTuber and you want to sign up, I'll link, leave my link down below for you guys. The first thing I got was this Vivalin eyeshadow and it is in the shade bronze and I first saw this on Lip Gloss Leslie's channel and I was like oh my gosh I need that in my life it is a beautiful deep bronze these shadows are very creamy very pigmented and last really well on the lid look at that pigment so stunning I have used this quite a bit I love bronze eye looks in the summer so I know I will get quite a lot of use out of that Last but not least is the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. This is the travel size. So let me see, I'm not sure. 2.5 fluid ounces. And this is supposed to tighten and smooth. Um, your butt or anywhere else you have like cellulite or need a little smoothing. And this smells so dang good. Oh my gosh. It's so sweet. It's not really coconutty. It's more like vanilla but beachy still. And this is what it looks like. It's a nice thick cream. I've used like smoothing and tightening creams from Bliss before and those smell horrible. So it was so nice to have something that does the same thing but smells amazing. So I've only used this twice so far so I'll have to get back to you on how I feel it helps my cellulite because you know I got a big booty and there's cellulite places that you don't need to see but just know it's there. <laughs> okay, so that is it for this haul. I have another PR haul that I want to share with you guys, like goodies that I received for review. Um, and I have a clothing haul I need to post too, so you're going to be seeing them coming through. But if you would like to really see a review on the Lorac 3 palette or anything else I mentioned, please let me know and I'll see you again real soon. Please subscribe if you're new and I love you all so much. I will see you in the next video. Bye.